Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick. So they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But the little one destroyed it using his power. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and almost got hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Man, that would fucking kill me if he found this. 
So he better not find it. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? Looking... Ugh, kind of lame. Swipe left. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Pat thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories?
Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? Got this for a girl in the eighth grade. Proud I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24-7. Man, my brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. What is he making with all that crap? Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. Okay, I'm done. Where the fuck is he? Oh, no time for this. Where are you? They're probably gonna bury me in this thing. Wish I had more time to play. Unless we're summer school. Sucks to be Daniel. But he can't bug me all the time. I would have been pissed if I was there. Oh, asshole. That is the kind of salad I like. Dad got in trouble for his last barbecue. Hope he does it again, so I can come this time.
could be anywhere. Oh, shit. Sorry, Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Daniel is psyched, but I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. Whoa, hold on. <gasps> Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told <gasps> you to stay out of my room. That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man! You started it, dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! We were just goofing around, Dad. I swear. He started it. He always gets mad He's at totally me. lying. You little- Enough! You both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too, not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up. You need space. More freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I always look out for him, but I can't stop him from creeping around my room. Even you told him. He's just... spoiled. So were you. And you had... Eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him, like you are now. <laughs> says me, hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work.
Can I come in? It's the big bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear dude. anything! La la la! Whoa. Don't know who drew this, but it's totally rad. Hey, Daniel. Why are you pouting? A young space warrior should never pout. We need to stand strong against the enemy. Come on, man. I'm running out of punchlines here. <sighs> Leave me alone. And don't touch my stuff. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. Why are you still here? Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful! Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay if I sit down? <sighs> so, when did you get this? Said I should learn to do stuff by myself, since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're going to be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away. Thank you. 
He doesn't talk about it, but... I know Daniel really misses Chris. <sighs> hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. We used to have big rooms. Now all our stuff fits in a bag. Daniel keeps reading it, again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. Yep. I'm a real man now. Kind of. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Hey, bedhead. Had a good sleep? Oh. Hi, uh... Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. Jeez, she's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. Gotta have backup signs. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. I always bought him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. I thought I liked weed, but... This guy's on a whole nother level. Glad somebody's getting some action. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so... 
innocent. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. This map is like his Bible. <sighs> Can't tag a train without paint. Glad to see somebody has Finn's back. Gotta say, I'm glad we took some of this stuff. We needed it. I do love these trees. Ancient and majestic. Never seen a dog so chilled. Doesn't care about anything. Yeah, like you don't get pet enough around here. It's nice to sit here together at night. Like we're a part of something. I've looked enough. Time to draw now. Hmm. Pretty good. But I can add more details if I want. Cool. I think I'm ready to draw this. Take the pen, dude.
I need to train. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. He's so out there. Hannah's so private about her life. Plus, she probably hates my guts. Did you see all that fog earlier? Creeps me out. You don't know what's inside? Like that movie. The sun has saved us. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grab some and sit your ass down. Coffee. Coffee out in the wild is the best coffee. Period. Your man crush him. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narc, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because Vision and Sean, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Cush gig. Not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. <laughs> that just means Meryl and all these green rush thugs are toast. I hear ya. Oh, um, did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. I keep thinking you're Dutch. <laughs> because we... Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. Where from again? Sweden. Malmö. You wouldn't hear about it. <laughs> a long fucking way to work a farm. Yeah. Been working for Water's three kinda years rare around here. To pay for the trip. Everything goes into the plantations. Working. Oh yeah, good times. I wish we came sooner. I feel like we will never see everything now. You did. Weird we didn't see any bears. Right. With all that trash you lying around. True. <sighs> I will miss you too, Penny. Uh... I think you forgot something, Sean. Man, I would have killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. Shoot, what's the date today? Is it the 15th or 16th? Jake's stuff is always so tidy and neat. 
just like him. What's up, Jake? Hey, Sean. Not much. What do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <sighs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. Where is she? Oh, uh, she's with my parents, of course. I, where else would a nine-year-old live? Oh, shoot, I mean... I didn't mean Daniel. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. Yeah. I do miss being on my own sometimes. You know, privacy, stuff like that. Really? I hate being alone. Guess I'm used to having people around. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games? Uh, puppies? <laughs> she has a pet chicken named Alexander. <laughs> Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea. It'll match my <laughs> chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late, or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. <sighs> My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. These guys have top gear. Wish I did. Funny how I like being out in the forest now. I actually feel free. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold, but fucking awesome. That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Daniel? I told you about playing with knives. You're too young. You know the rules, dude. Don't stress, man. Daniel! What? Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean, idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. 
Come on, let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Let's show the kid what's what. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sean. Hold your right arm. Yeah. More like this. Better alignment. Better aim. Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? Don't think twice, bro. Just go for it. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. One more time. I know you can do it. Be zen, Sean. That's the secret. Come on, dude. <laughs> Do it. Oh, fuck that! <laughs> Miss, see, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if you can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet! Ah. Uh... It's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? You think that shit is funny? What shit? Stop acting stupid. You're pushing it, Daniel. You made me miss in front of Finn. What if he finds out, huh? What then? I'm not stupid. He won't find out. You don't? Know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't run me! Uh. Uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. Yeah, but we stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we gonna stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Los. Remember? It's gonna take forever. You should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught while looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. Dude, that's how it is. I'm the adult now, okay? Yeah, well, that sucks. Finn treats me like an adult. 
He understands. Uh-oh. Bid Joe. Hey, you don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh, nah, I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, pretty cool. Hey, Daniel, remember what I said. Low profiles. <sighs> yeah. Okay, we're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, you know. Okay, okay. Wish we could send Chris a present or something. Or maybe just check on him. We will, Daniel, when we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to give me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. Hey, little man. So at this point, you know, I'm like, whatever, dude, knife, just right? give me more booze, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't bullshit you. Some gutter punk jump. You're not listening to anything I say. So I'm cutting that. Are you? Yeah. What? Jeez, yes, I am. Cut me too. The party. Oh, shit. Ooh. Too yeah, much sex, guys. Are Play you okay? Too much sex. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I was Two peas in a pod, these ones. I'll show you the battle oh, scope. It was so high last night. You're showing jealous. Cool. Nah. Uh, just you, keeping you an eye out. You know? Though, yeah. Okay? <laughs> Big brother watching. Hey, who's the nice That's master here? On death. Did you lock the tent? You want to see stuff for shooting in that evening? So. Wrong. How do you feel? You went back for the lighter. Who knew this little tree market snowflake would end up here? Yeah, <laughs> With us misfits. <laughs> I actually feel free. <laughs> it's been a long time. Thanks to you. I hope so. Finn and me had a bet how long you would last. Okay. Please don't hurt me. I lost. Thanks. I'm glad you did. 
I can't get rid of me yet. Hey, I'm gonna shut the fuck up back there. I can't hear my music. Guess what? He was on his secret sap phone again this morning. Speaking Romanian and shit. Oh no. Here it comes. He's Agent 420. And he has a license to cook. <laughs> um, what's that? Told you a thousand times, Big Joe is a clone. They come from a factory in Silicon Valley. <laughs> Maybe he's just the factory reject. <laughs> Meryl got a good deal on him. <laughs> he doesn't look like a clone. That's why he was rejected. <laughs> Fucking A. Worst clone ever. Okay, just don't be so mean. He's right there. Oh, Sean, are you crushing on Big Joseph? Oh, that is so sweet. Sean loves Big Joe. Sean loves Big Joe. Shit, you're all in love with Big Joe. You can't stop talking about him, I swear. But his ass is too big. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Come on. <sighs> yep. <laughs> It's kind of a mystery. <laughs> hey, pipe down back there. Enjoy the scenery for a change, for fuck's sake.